part 32 of ASP.NET MVC tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the convention used by MVC to find views. Please watch part 31 before proceeding. Notice this index action method with an employee controller class. This does not specify the name of the view to return. So there are two questions to answer here. How does ASP.NET MVC know which view to use? And what locations does ASP.NET MVC search by default? To answer these two questions, I'm going to delete this index view from the employee folder. So let's flip to Visual Studio. So this is the MVC demo project that we have been working with. I'm going to delete this index view from this employee folder. With this change, let's go ahead and run this. And notice this index view. This not, does not specify the name of the view to return. Let's see what's going to happen. Look at that. We get an error stating the view index or its master was not found. So what is the name of the view it's looking for? The name of the view here is index. And what is the name of our action method? Index. So by convention, ASP.NET MVC looks for a view with the same name as that of the controller action method. OK, so here the controller action method is action method name is index and it is looking for a view with name index. So where is it looking for that view? In which locations is it going to search for that view? There are two locations. Look at that. Views slash folder name matching the controller name. Look at the error message. It's actually looking within views folder and then it's looking for employee folder. So what is the name of our controller here? Employee controller. So it's going to look for a folder name, you know, where the name matches with the name of the controller. In this case, employee controller. So it's going to look for a folder with name employee within views. OK, so that's the first location. Views slash folder name matching the controller name. And the second location is views slash shared folder. But if you look at our project, do we have a shared folder within views folder? No, we don't. Why is that? That's because we have used an empty template when we created this project. So let me explain what I mean. If I go to Visual Studio, and when we create a new project, file a new project, and I want to create an ASP.NET MVC4 web application, once I click OK here, notice that it is asking me to pick a template. Now, when we created this MVC demo project, we used this empty template. OK, so because of that, it didn't create, you know, shared folder within views, but there's nothing stopping us from doing that. But then when you create a project, you know, by selecting uh, Internet application as the template, and then once you click OK, it's going to create a project that looks like this. OK, notice that within views, we have a folder shared. OK, so it's going to the second location location that it's going to search is the shared folder. And then look at the error message within those two locations. It's looking for a view with name index, but notice the extension. It can have different extensions, either ASPX. If your view engine is an ASPX view engine, then it's, you know, the extension will be .aspx. OK, um, on the other hand, if it's a partial view, then it, the extension is going to be .asex. We'll discuss more about partial views in a later video session. And then it can also be .cshtml or .vbhtml if your view engine is Razor. And depending on the programming language, you know, the extension is going to differ. But then the idea here is it's going to search for a view with this name with these ex extensions. What are the different extensions? .cshtml, vbhtml, or .aspx, or .ascx. And it's going to search in these two locations. And that's by convention. OK, now let's go back to our MVC demo project. Let's say that I'm going to have a view with the, that name, index. So let's add a view. So the name of the view is going to be index. I'm going to choose you know, ASPX as our view engine. We're going to create a strongly typed view against this employee. We're not going to use any master page. And the scaffold template is going to be list. Let's add that. So that should add a view with name uh, index and then the extension .aspx. Let's create another view with the same name. So let's add a view. The name is again going to be index. This time, again, the view engine is going to be ASPX. And then I'm going to create a strongly typed view against employee object, scaffold template list. I'm going to create a partial view. Let's add that. 
So this should add a view with name index, but the extension is going to be .ascx. We'll talk more about partial views in a later video session. Let me add another view with the same name. This time I'm going to choose our view engine as Razor. The rest of the config, the rest of the configuration is going to stay, stay the same. And let's add this view. So it's going to add index.cshtml. So within this employee folder, I have you know three uh, views with the same name index. The only the extension changes, and then let's have some text. So here, within this, let's go back to this index.aspx. This is the aspx view. So within the title, let's say the view name is you know let's output this text so we know that when the page renders what view we are looking at. So let's go back to uh, Razor view. And here, let's say it is CSHTML. And then let's actually take this H2 tag. And then let's go back to this partial view. Let's paste it there. OK, so within this employee folder, we have three views with the same name, only the extensions differ. And then let's save everything. And let's go back to our employee controller. And if you look at this within this index action method, we are not specifying the name of the view. So if I have views with these different extensions with the same name, which view is it going to pick by default? Let's see that. Let's actually run this and see which view it's going to return. Now look at this error message. You know, if you look at this error message, it's first looking for something with index.aspx. So by default, it's going to pick that view. So it found a match. Look at the title here it's looking for I mean it has picked up index slash ASPX so it has picked up this view index dot ASPX okay so let's say now instead of the ASPX view I want to use the razor view is it possible absolutely all you need to do is you can specify the full path of the view so what I can do here I can specify the name of the view here. I can use a different overloaded version of this view function where we can also specify the name of the view. So basically, we're using this overloaded version. So here we are going to specify the full path. So I'm going to use the still symbol, which indicates the current directory. And then from there, navigate to views folder. From there, navigate to employee folder. And from there, look for a view with this name, index.cshtml. And now, if we run this, it should pick up the razor view rather than the ASPX uh, view. So it's still loading there. And look at that, it, it has picked up the razor view. If you specify only the name of the view, so now let's say I have seen several people doing this, they simply specify the name of the view like this with its extension. Now if you do that and if you actually run this, uh, we actually get an error. Look at what's going to happen. Look at that. It's looking for a file, I mean a view, with this name, index.cshtml.aspx. So this entire thing that you have passed here, you know, it, it considers that as the name of the view. Okay, that's why we get this error. So if you want to specify you know, the name of the view, then use the full path. Or you can also do this. You can get rid of this extension. And then if you run this, by default, it's going to pick up the ASPX view. So if you don't specify the full path and then only the name of the view, look at that. It actually picked up ASPX view. Now, if you want to use a view, which is not inside the views folder of the current controller. Notice this here. You know, within this folder, name matches the name of our controller, the employee controller. Now, let us say the view that this controller needs is present in a different folder. In that case, you can still specify the full path and it's going to work. For example, let me create a new folder here. Let's add a folder. Let's call it home. And then maybe let's move all of these views into this home folder. So now, let's actually delete this. Or let's leave it there. So it's going to look for an index view. Now let's run this and see what's going to happen. 
as you might have guessed, we will get an error. Why? Because it's going to look for that index view within employee folder and shared folder view within views. But then within those folders, we don't have a view with that name, so it's going to error out. But then we know that this view is present in a different folder. Okay, so in that case, you have to again specify the full path. So tilde forward slash within views, we have home folder, and within that, we have an index.aspx view. So even if the view is present in a different directory, you can still specify the full path to pick up that view. So here we get the view as expected. So please note that ASP.NET MVC is all about convention over configuration. Views folder contains one folder for each controller and a shared folder. Okay, so if you notice this um, MVC one application, you know, which is created using that template, internet application template. Notice that here within the controllers folder, I have two controllers, account controller and home controller. And to match those two controllers, look at the views folder. I have a folder with name account. This folder is going to contain all the views that relate to relates to account controller. Similarly, home controller is going to contain all the views that relates to home controller. Okay, and then I also have a shade folder. And what is the shade folder going to contain? Shade folder is basically used to store views shared between controllers. Okay, so if you want to use a view that's going to be shared between both this uh, employee and home controller, then uh, shared folder is the right place to put that view. For example, master pages. You know, we use master pages to give a consistent look and feel for our website. Okay, so the shared folder is the right folder to put your master pages. Okay, uh, and if you're using Razor View Engine, you know, the master page is called as layout page. So your master pages and layout pages are stored in the shared folder. Okay, we'll talk more about layout pages and master pages in a later video session. On this slide, you can find resources for ASP.NET, C Sharp, and SQL Server interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.